Hey everyone, this is the Sunbro, and today I'm bringing you some more Dark Souls 2 gameplay. I have been scouring the internet and YouTube and everything, trying to find where this originally came from and who made it, but I can't. Uh, a few other people, like three or four others, have uploaded this and none of them have given any credit to the original. And some of them don't even say that it's not theirs. At least the first person I found it from said that it wasn't theirs, but they did not give a link to the original description. And as far as I can find, that person is the only one who has all eight videos up. But they say that it's not theirs, so I don't know who they got it from or why they did not give credit to the original source. But I'm going to be bringing this all to you guys anyways regardless if I have to use the sites from other people. But at least this person did not put their own logo on it. That was what frustrated me about the other person. They put their own logo on it like it was theirs. Um and two other people had their logo on it as well, but they did not even say that it wasn't theirs in the description. And the reason I'm talking so much is because this guy is just kind of running around doing nothing, so. And as I mentioned last video, I thought commentary would be more interesting for everyone, because this is a bit boring to just kind of watch. Uh, right now, they're going through the different sections of their inventory. They have separated armor into the pieces, as you can see. So, you don't have to scroll through everything in this giant list to find what you're looking for. Which is really helpful, because sometimes the inventory management got ridiculous in the game. So, I'm glad that it's better, but I can't tell from this screen because there's no up or down arrows but I really hope that you do not have a limited inventory size I mean I can't imagine that you would but I don't know I just really hope that you don't and I'm not sure what that scrawling animation is in the upper right hand corner it might be the same as the flame for the last game where it's saving but it seems like it goes on for a really long time it might just be because it's beta and it's having trouble but I'm still not sure at the moment right now it just seems like they're doing inventory management leveling their stuff the icons look like they're laid out pretty much the exact same some of them have changed But you guys can probably tell what's what just by looking at the icons next to the stats. So uh, at the beginning of every video, I'll make sure to say that this is not mine. And while I'm doing all this, I will continue to search for the original. It's possible that it wasn't on YouTube at all, such as my Dark Souls Evangelion video that some of you may have seen. It has a surprising amount of views. I didn't really think anyone would find it on my channel. Um, but I got that off of a Japanese site way back in April. But that was just to... I put it on my tablet because I like to watch it. I thought it was pretty cool. And then the original person who uh, had it uploaded, they took down their channel, so I decided to put it up so people could continue to get enjoyment from that pretty cool mashup. But in the process, I have... I lost the website that it came from. I still have the original title 
at least. But that's all really all I got from it. So that's what I'm thinking that these people must have done, or at least the first guy who I got it from, because he has all eight. Because if it's not up on YouTube, then it he must have pulled it off of a a website. Now they're actually doing some fighting. I hate to insult the player, but they really are not the best at this. Still like the gear they're wearing, though. That's pretty nice. Looks like he's having trouble summoning someone. But that's the point of the online beta in the first place, to try to smooth out all this stuff. They're having dedicated servers this time. So, overall the process should be greatly improved. Alright, he was able to summon someone. They have a ridiculously big sword. It looks kind of like the Black Knight Greatsword, but I'm guessing that it isn't. They also have a shield that kind of looks like the Crest Shield. A lot of the things I'm seeing just, they look similar, if not the exact same, like the spear. That was pretty cool. But yeah, the spear is the same, but the kite shield that this guy is using does not have the same tower icon on it. It looks like it has kind of a, an eagle on it. Well, or it's just a different shaped tower, but it definitely does not look like the first. I can't tell if it's supposed to be a bird or a tower. But yeah, that the, the giant sword that the guy has actually looks like it is the one from the original gameplay footage that came out during an interview like way back when. They were the warrior class the entire time, though. It's nice to actually see the different classes, though everyone in this seems to be wearing kind of the same gear. I wish that they would summon someone who is like a temple knight or something. But maybe that will come later. As I said in the last video, I'm going to stop watching them ahead of time. Though if the next one has an extremely boring opening, I might end up just skipping them. Alright, so we're back to where he died at the end of the last video. Oh, and on that note, I'm sorry that the last video ended so abruptly, and I didn't do a Praise the Sun outro. Uh, that was because it abruptly cut to a page saying to subscribe to the guy who posted the video. Which, again, I dislike. I don't think you should ask people to subscribe to a video that you didn't even make in the first place. But, I don't know. That's just how I am. I guess some people will try to do anything to get, you know, more popular on YouTube, but... I try to be as ethical as possible.
So yeah, I won't be, uh, I haven't for any of my other videos either, but I won't be asking for any subscribes or anything from this. I'm just trying to show you guys as much as I can because I know you guys love this game, especially if you found it on my channel. And I definitely love this game, so the more that we can all see about this game, I think the happier all of us will be. I hope at some point this guy stops using a different weapon than the spear. Because just watching the thrust over and over again is is a bit annoying. I kind of want to see some of the attack animations. Because that is like one of the biggest things when you're choosing a weapon in Dark Souls is the animations. Like as I talked about in my quality weapons video... Uh, the Lucerne and the Halberd have the exact same uh, stats, and they end with the exact same attack, but the Halberd is longer range, significantly, than the Lucerne. So that's why I like to go with it, because you can keep range from your targets and still have the high damage. Looks like the sun drops that he's breaking are the are a gradual healing item. It doesn't instantly recover like an Estus flask. And that's actually kinda interesting. And I'm not sure if there are you know, big, medium, and small sun drops. It would make sense. One will heal more gradually. Oh, he's practicing how to jump. I don't think they can even make the jump, but... Oh, wow. Okay, so jumping is significantly farther. Holy cow. It's a... Oh, okay. So it's like Demon Souls. They have... Uh, red phantom versions of standard enemies and I'm guessing they're <laughs> he fell off uh, I'm guessing they are a lot harder than the normal enemies oh yeah he just killed both of his summons oh wow okay so well I'm glad we all saw that okay so red phantom enemies seem to be significantly stronger than the normal enemies, because in the first video we saw that uh, those normal enemies are kind of easy to kill.